What is going on world? It is Tuesday, 1025 in the morning. Last night I was up to like 2 or 3 a.m. getting edits done. I uh, pretty much finished off my work week here so I have the next three days off from work. So I'm going to take you guys through today. I'm going to take you guys through kind of just my typical day. What I do on my day off here. So I haven't seen Murphy in like four or five days because he was off at good stay as this like babysitter for dogs because my mom was away for the weekend I was doggy sitting Corby I didn't really document any of that for you guys because I was just working for the last three or four days and as I mentioned there I was watching Corby so I was just either eating working taking care of Corby or editing and going to the gym so really nothing exciting happened over the last few days here I think the last video I took you through was uh, after my uh, alcohol and a growth hormone experiments there so it's been a few days since I've talked to you guys but I'm really excited to see Murphy here let's go see what he's up to and today I actually also have a little photo shoot with uh, a buddy that I used to be really good friends with in elementary school high school we've we still keep in touch every once in a while but he's messing around with uh, a Canon ADD so I'm gonna go to his place today and we're gonna mess around with this camera and try to get some cool shots for you guys so take you guys through my whole day today let's see what's up with my uh, with my day here today world thank you guys so much for following along my journey let's go see Murphy Is that a boy? Is that a boy? Hi. Hi. Crazy apartment. And it's a Corby! <laughs> Murphy's just so tired from his stay at the good stay. He doesn't even want to do anything. Yeah, dude. You got drained, eh, boy? You got drained. And the little girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Yeah, look at how cute you are. Hey, hey, yeah, who's that little girl? <laughs> he wants to get excited, but he's too tired. <laughs> Why are you lying down? <laughs> You're that tired, eh, boy? You're so funny. <laughs> Look at your beard. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you and look at you. Worst. And that's basically gonna be it for today. So let's see what happens today. What's up, Murphy? Who's a boy? Who's a boy? So here's a prime instance of someone I don't really care to make a point about because I can see their safety signals, but they obviously didn't care to dust off their vehicle at all. Just no care for anyone else. Can't see behind them at all. Their side windows are covered in snow. They don't care about safety. They don't care about other people on the road. They care about getting to where they want and need to be. They don't give a fuck about you and your safety. And those are the people that we need to get out of this world or at least change their mentalities. That's just disrespectful and unsafe to others on the road. Just because you were too lazy to dust off your vehicle, another person, headlights completely covered. And it's not like this stuff bugs me, like it gets me all angry. I have to make it look like I'm angry for the camera for you guys, but at the same time, like, this is stuff I notice along my drive. What, am I not gonna mention it? Am I not gonna call questions to something that I feel is unsafe in the world? People rather talk and discuss about fucking memes and stupid shit going on rather than legitimate safety right in their own area. They wanna fix African countries. They wanna fix all this stuff around the world that, they can, that they're not even a part of. When there are people right here, we have homeless people right in the city. We have people who don't follow the rules right in this part of the world. How can we be stewards of the world? How can we show other people how to do better and be better when we are hypocritical in our own nature? When, our, when we are hypocritical on a daily basis. Heading off right now to go meet up with my uh, good buddy there, Dom DeSando. And uh, I'm gonna do some uh, sick little uh, pictures, get some uh, nice little photo shoot done all black and white. He 
wants me like standing there with a nice cup of coffee. We might do, I brought some liquor bottles and uh, like uh, the Grunter bottle from the Anderson Craft Ales and uh, I even brought a joint too. So uh, I think we're gonna get some really sweet pictures here. I'm excited for this. He's got like an amazing camera. So I'm gonna test this out and see how this goes. Damn, the nostalgia is crazy right now. Like I used to walk this way every single day for like five to six years heading off to Pizza Hut or heading off to uh, catch the bus for school or walk to elementary school, holy crap. Nostalgia like crazy right now. We have arrived. Yo! What was up? <laughs> Come on, buddy. What? What you saying? <laughs> so what should we do for this one? To hold the bottle. Liquor? Yeah. Let's a roll night. Fuck it. Should I just hold it or drink from it or just like give it a Bruce Wayne or... A Bruce Wayne? Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> just like kinda of look outside. Yeah, I'm fucking loving it. <laughs> um, like those look sick, and even the like the brighter ones too. So what I can do too is I'll turn off like the. This is fun. Checking out some of the edits here. Some of these photos look insane. I'll get a 12 inch honey oat turkey with double meat, please. We get uh, spinach, tomatoes, lots of spinach, please. I'll also get uh, lots of green peppers, lots of onions, and some pickles. 315, about to break the fast. I uh, ate a little late last night after work. I uh, went to Stobie's Pizza. I got uh, two or three slices of pizza, and I finished it around midnight, I believe, so. Right now, about 15 hours, 15 and a half hours past it. All right, so on my way home there, I decided to uh, stop and pick up some beer. I actually wanted to stop off at uh, Anderson Craft Ales there and fill up my grunter, but uh, they're actually closed on Tuesday. So it was a good thing I double checked before I went, drove all the way out to the uh, Old East Village, but decided to get some Forked River instead because the LCBO right uh, close to my house there, they don't carry uh, Anderson Craft Ales yet or they are... Um, completely sold out because this stuff has been going crazy in London. Anderson Craft Ales, I believe last week, they just got into stores here in the LCBO in uh, the London area and they've been selling out like crazy. And I even mentioned at Icarus, like people are loving it and it's actually really good beer. But this is another brewery here in London, Forked River. And uh, last night I actually had a customer who wanted a uh, a second or third one of these and then right as I was bringing it out and I actually already popped off the top he's like I'm sorry I gotta cancel that beer and he had to leave so I decided I would uh, pay for the beer and I would try it and to be honest I really enjoyed this I like um I'm still learning a lot of the terminology like how to tell if a beer is hoppy or more malty and what kind of flavors that's supposed to make you like leave on your tongue so you can dictate and know that that's what you're tasting. So this is actually, so it's Capital Blonde, but this is unpasteurized, unfiltered beer. So for myself, like I'm a big fan of wheat beer and I'm also kind of a fan, you know, when I was in my teens of lighter beer. And this is like a combination of both because, uh, I don't know, it's got that like hint of that weedy taste, I believe, because it's unpasteurized and unfiltered compared to uh, most beers. But it's got that smooth and light taste as well. It's absolutely amazing. So, cheers, world. But 
I just left uh, hanging out with my buddy there. We got some amazing pictures done. And it was really cool to, you know, catch up. We haven't hung out in a long time. And we go way back, like elementary school, real young. So it was great to catch up on things. We have some great plans for ideas for pictures for the future, documenting kind of like my lifestyle, you know, me, my documentation calendars, as well as, you know, just like brewing up my coffee in the morning, hanging out, playing with Murphy. So in the next couple weeks, I think we're going to meet up again. We're going to get some shots like that done. But today was kind of an experiment. He wanted to get these kind of like rough and gritty pictures taken. So yeah, some of those pictures were amazing very high quality we were even uh, messing around and experimenting with Photoshop uh, that's one thing that I'm not the best at I don't know if you guys can tell from some of my thumbnails and some of my pictures I'm just not the best at it and it's something I really want to experiment around with and learn but just that whole Photoshop program on its own I would love to dive into it for a week and a half to two weeks and just learn as much of it as I can but this is the issue right now you know I have to pick my priorities I have to pick the skills and knowledge that I think is important to me at this point in my life and although I really want to learn Photoshop I really want to get a nice uh, camera that's amazing for taking pictures I really need to focus on the things that I think are beneficial to myself right now so it would be amazing in the future or possibly in the short term to bring someone on that could you know help me take off that load in my life so I can keep accomplishing I can keep learning I can keep building the skills and knowledge that I need to build and I can also help someone else who that wants to develop that skill and knowledge base for themselves so we're gonna see what's going on in the future here as I mentioned things might be changing I might be heading up to Ottawa in the next few months so there's a lot in the works but today is today so had a great time with my buddy thanks for having me out Dom thank you so much for taking those amazing pictures I'm basically gonna sip on this beer for the next hour it's 530 right now I'm gonna sip on this beer for the next hour or so I'm gonna get some editing done and then my mom is a huge fangirl of Vin Diesel so she uh, we've been I was you, um, you had you 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 could you do you win. we've watched all the triple X all the fast and the furious movies so tonight we're gonna go check out the new triple X Xander Cage movie and I might have got a couple more of these that I might bring with me <laughs> So cheers world, Asnato Rigore, be constantly rigorous in everything you do in your life. But it's not like I went to failure every time, so I think that was a good hormonally boosting workout. I guess we will find out. But while <laughs> Who ready to watch Vin Diesel kick some ass? Oh, she's ready. Corey's ready. Hello. Later. Yes. Out here in the blizzard with the boy. <laughs> what are you doing over there, boy? Huh? What you doing? I'm just watching you. So this is what is on menu for tonight. Kale salad and pork chops with potatoes. Yummy, ya. Uh, water, salad, girlfriend. All right, world, so for dessert here, we're gonna have this last little bit of brie. Go. All right, world, I completely forgot to stop vlogging last night. I apologize for that. Got Murphy here in the morning, brewing up some coffee for the beautiful one and I, and that is gonna be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for following along my full day yesterday. And thank you guys so much for following along my journey. If you guys like what I do here on this YouTube channel, if you find some things informative, or maybe you just enjoy what you see on here, make sure you go hit that like button, and of course, leave me a comment. I am the Hungarian experiment. Oh yeah, also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, that'd be pretty cool too.